Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to make a call out using a trigger. So in the previous few videos, we made a call out, but we made a call out from anonymous window, which is in real world, which is not true. We don't make a call out using anonymous window. We make a call out based on certain events and events can be handled using trigger. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to the uh, first of all, let's understand that I am logged in inside source org inside the edge browser and inside Chrome. I'm logged in inside the target org. So you can see also the link LEA5 is, is at the end and it has KEAP at the end. So these are two different org in edge. I am inside the source org and in Chrome, I'm inside the destination org. So basically what I need to do is I need to pull the data from the target org to the source org. But there's a difference. Now what I'm going to do is in this video, let's say I'm going to change the phone number of account. Let's say I'm going to change it to one, two, three. Okay. So if I'm going to change it to one, two, three, let's say, then what it will do is it will try to search the contact with the same phone number inside the target org. So like for an example, this one, two, three. And once it is find out, once it finds out such kind of contact, it will pull that contact inside in it, uh, the source org inside the source org. So that's what we are going to build. So in sh short term, so whatever phone number I'm going to put inside the account of the source uh, org, it's going to pull the same uh, kind of same phone number contact inside its uh, from the target org to the source org. Okay, so let's try to quickly build it. Build it. Uh, so in simple words, what I'm going to do is if I'm going to change the phone number, then I want uh, overall things to work right now to do that. What I need to do is I need to write a trigger on account. Now what this trigger is going to do is for account ACC trigger dot new whatever I'm going to receive now if ACC dot phone is not equal to old phone right so basically if phone is changed I have to ch uh, check with the old account phone number old ACC equals to trigger dot old map dot get acc dot id old acc dot phone right so what i'm trying to check over here is whether my new phone number from the trigger dot new and old phone number are same or not if they are not same to each other this means the phone number has been changed right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to capture the list of such accounts ids of such accounts And I am going to capture all such of such account IDs. Now, why I am capturing IDs instead of account, you will understand it quickly. Now, if I need to make a call out from the trigger, okay, from the trigger to external services, I have to make a call out via trigger, right? In order to do that, you have to use future apex, okay, future apex with call out equals to true. So that's what we need to build. Now, to do that, I'm going to build a different separate class which will future apex handler or, or I'm going to just name it future apex. Now what it's going to have is it's going to have a future method with call out equals to true. Right in public static void Let's say name it as future call out and then I'm going to add the list of IDs to it. List of ID ACC ID. Okay. Now inside my trigger handler, inside my trigger basically, I app I captured the IDs. This is because the future epics, right? The future uh, the methods with future uh, annotation can only take parameters as IDs or list of IDs. It cannot take parameters as S objects. Okay, and another thing is these methods will be always static and they won't return anything. Okay, so based but the most important thing is that the future epix annotation method will only take parameters as IDs or string or boolean such kind of parameter. It won't take s objects as its parameter. So that's why here I am capturing the IDs. Now what I'm going to do is once my trigger is done, I'm going to just pass it pass this 
id to this method right so it's a static method first of all so i don't need a object for it and then i'm going to pass the account id to it now i have received the account id whose phone number has been changed now all i need to do is i need to query this account as i have only the ids i need to query this account right so first i'm going to check the size checking the best practice right if acc id dot size is greater than 0 then for account acc colon select id comma name comma phone from account where id in acc id so inside this for loop i am going to receive all the accounts whose phone number was recently changed now i need to make a call out right to make a call out http http equals to new http and then i need to add a request object q equals to new and once that is done i need to set what kind of method uh, we are going to use set set and then i'm going to set the end point so if you remember our end point was already captured inside the name credential so i'm going to take the same name credential and then inside our target org we have the url mapping right so i'm going to use that url mapping as well services apex rest slash okay now i need to send the request so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to send the request http dot send and then i'm going to send the request but as soon as soon as i am going to send the request i'm going to get some kind of response http response res let's say so as soon as i am going to get the response let's check the what is the status code of the response system dot debug code is plus get status code right now if res dot get status code equals to equals to 200 this means we have successfully able to get the data from the external services i'm just going to write system dot debug success now first let's try to make a call out okay just let's try to make a call out whether we are able to receive the data or not from the external services so we have this apex class exposed so i should be able to get this contact this particular contact right okay so the name of the contact is mr timbar i should be able to get this kind of contact in my apex class so let's check if i'm going to make changes to the phone number 00 and i'm going to save it let's check this is our future handler let's debug it okay so the status code is 
the status code 401 means uh, the authentication is not done properly most probably So I need to do authentication again and target int and save it. I want to close this developer console and again open it as I logged out and again logged in. So uh, our authentication is done successfully with our target or I'm going to make changes again to the phone number and let's see whether we are able to receive the data so yes status code is 200 this means success we are able to receive the data but right now we need to get the data for the specific phone number so if I'm going to change the phone number to let's say 110 instead I'm going to check it to 123 I should be able to get the same contact like 123 that is Tim Bar over here now to do that I need to pass the parameter inside my URL to do that uh, what I need to do is phone number equals to plus acc dot phone so this is how you pass a parameter you give a question mark and after that you add any name like for an example you have to pass the phone number acc dot phone number as phone and n should be capital N O. if you have to pass it that way or also you can do it phn Now once you pass this as a pass this parameter the phone number as a parameter what you need to do is you need to get this parameter inside your target org to do that to get the parameter from the target org I'm going to use string string phone number equals to rest context dot request dot params dot get and the parameter name in our case was phn right from our source org. so i'm going to pass phn over here and i have received the phone number and then i'm going to write phone equals to phone number now as we are going to use the variable i'm going to use colon along with that and save it so now what's going to happen is let's say i change phone number to one two three all the account which whose phone number is changed first of all all this will be captured inside this acc id now what it's going to do is it's going to make a future callout and so this future callout I'm going to query that particular account and then I'm going to send the phone number that I've changed right now as a parameter now once I've sent it to the parameter I'm receiving that parameter that is phone number inside my so uh, target org and once that is received I'm going to query the contact uh, with that particular uh, phone number and I'm going to send that phone number uh, so send that contact with that particular phone number inside my source org now let's receive that phone number here receive that contact over here sorry test dot get body now inside body i will be able to fetch that particular contact that i was trying to fetch from the source or uh, target or so let's say if i'm going to change the phone number to specifically one two three first of all let me clear the and save it Right. if you go to the future handler as you can see I am able to get this uh, particular contact see Tim bar which is from the target org let's say I am going to create one more contact here with a name let's say SF to 5 minutes Mr. SF 5 minutes and then I am going to give him the phone number as 789 and I'm going to save it so if I want to query this particular contact if I want to get this particular contact from the target org inside our source org to do that all I need to do is I need to change the phone number over here as I think so the phone number is 789 right okay 789 if I do it I'll just clear up the console and then I'm going to just save it so as soon as I save it I will be able to get that particular contact inside my 
debug log see sf5 minutes so i was able to pull the data from our so uh, from our source org from the target org inside our source org right and we were able to pull it using future apex that is uh, with a uh, callout equals to true which we are usually using uh, if i have to make a callout via trigger so if you found this video helpful and i was able to explain how to use future callouts future apex with callout equals to true please do subscribe to my channel